Hi, I'm Ebra Agan and I received the third prize for the 14 and under category for translating a very well-known poem from Turkish. The poem is called I Am Listening to Istanbul by Orhan Vili. I am listening to Istanbul. My eyes are closed. At first, there is a gentle breeze, the soft sway and the leaves on the trees, out there, far away. The bells of water carriers endless ring. I am listening to Istanbul. My eyes are closed. I am listening to Istanbul. My eyes are closed. Then, suddenly, birds fly by. High up, flocks of them, with a hue and cry. While the nets are drawn into the fisheries, and a woman's feet dabble in the water, I am listening to Istanbul. My eyes are closed. I am listening to Istanbul. My eyes are closed. The Grand Bazaar is calm and cool. The chitter chatter at Mahmoud Pasha. Mosque yards are full of pigeons. The hammers bang and clang at the docks. Spring winds and the smell of sweat. I am listening to Istanbul. My eyes are closed. I am listening to Istanbul. My eyes are closed. The drunkenness of the old worlds. A sea coast with dim boat houses. In the hum of the dead southern winds. I am listening to Istanbul. My eyes are closed. I am listening to Istanbul. My eyes are closed. A pretty girl walks by on the path. Words, whistles and songs. Rude remarks. Something falls out of her hand. It must be a rose. I am listening to Istanbul. My eyes are closed. I am listening to Istanbul. My eyes are closed. A bird flutters around your skirt. Is your forehead hot? Cold, I know. Are your lips wet or not? I know. A silver moon rises between the pine trees. I can sense it all in your heart's beating. I am listening to Istanbul. I chose this poem because my home language is Turkish and this poem has a very nice meaning to the Turks. It is one of the most effective poems in Turkish that describes Istanbul. The poet Orhan Vili won a Nobel Prize for this poem. Every Turk that hears this will be reminded of the wonderful atmosphere of the main areas of Istanbul. Another reason I chose this poem is because the reader always feels like they are in this setting due to the powerful vocabulary that the poet has used and the imagery it creates.